guys welcome back to my channel today we together with you go to have a lunch as an ordinary Russian have who work in uh, like a full-time in a Russian office and now we are going to canteen which is located in this business center She's a Katya. She uh, works uh, in a big international company in PR department and uh, she works in an office. It has an um, office style work. And, yes. you know, and yeah. we have office style lunch. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> yes. So yeah, now we show now you. We, we are going to have a lunch. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes, very, very hungry. <laughs> so come with us. <laughs> Good day. What would you like? Broccoli and schnitzel, please. Here you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Many restaurants and cafes in Russia have special offer for lunch time and you can buy four and three dishes for favorable price. I took uh, salyanka and salad and salyanka is very tasty. You should uh, try it when if you come and when you come to Russia. And I paid uh, three dollars for my lunch. I took a traditional Russian soup. Mm -hmm. It calls sheep. Salads uh, from tomato, mm -hmm. cheese and uh, cream broccoli and uh, fried piece of meat and it costs uh, five six dollars traditionally russian lunch consists of uh, three dishes first dish it is a soup the second dish it can be meat or fish with uh, any kind of uh, garnish for example, it can be pasta or uh, some cereals, uh, for example, rice, uh, big wheat or stewed vegetables. The third dish, it can be just drink or dessert. I also want to tell you about several uh, features, Russian features. First of all, it is, uh, of course, soup. The Russian, they really like to eat soup. We also have a national idea that uh, um, a soup, it is uh, really healthy really helpful food uh, for your dig digestion. We actually grow up with this idea from uh, our kindergarten and school. We have to eat soup at least one a day. Do you like soup? I like soup very much because my mom, she likes uh, to repeat uh, often. Every day you have to take a soup. Every day you have to take a soup. And she repeated uh, like a mantra. More simple to to go to restaurant or to stalovaya and to order soup there because it's very difficult to cook it. It's it takes some. It, it takes it, it takes two Depends hours. Depends of girls. <laughs> What is a Russian traditional soup? It is a borscht, salyanka, which I have now. It's she, which uh, Katya had. <laughs> and um, what else? A pea soup. And you know, uh, there is uh, some cream soup. It is not, from my opinion, and it is not so popular in Russia. Uh, cream. Soup? Uh, cream. Because uh, it is, uh, we like to have some pieces of. Uh, Food like meat and vegetables, it must be um, like pieces, not not just smoothie. It is not so um, common for us. Russian features that we um, like to eat a piece of bread with a general dish. For example, if you you can uh, you can eat a soup with piece of bread. Or, for example, second dish with a bread. A lot of uh, Russian do like that. And also features about that there are um, a lot of uh, different pies, a little pies with um, uh, any feelings, like snack, which you can eat it between lunch and dinner, for example, at the, your work. A drink, it can be coffee or tea, but coffee it is less. Tea is more popular and also much popular compote. It is a, a drink uh, boiled um, from dry fruit or morse. Morse it, it is a cold drink from uh, berries. Yeah, sit down with us. Uh, Katya's colleagues join to us. Well, usually for lunch I 
prefer to take some soup, maybe chicken mostly. Salad, supposed to be tomatoes and cucumbers and maybe some cheese. That's what I had today. Then after that I usually take something more precisely like maybe fish or meat, can be turkey. And I got um, homemade juice and I also recommend you guys try um, um, <laughs> borscht. This is the the red soup that you have uh, with the beet. I think it would be an interesting experience. Then try vodka, stalichne. <laughs> That's a must. Do you and, like it? Um, I I precisely like tequila, mm. but so vodka is is okay. <laughs> but if you like tequila, you should try tequila as well. And um, what else? Maybe we have salad olivier you should try. And um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's, it's a fat salad. Do you think that uh, they, like, mm, for example, American people like it? They don't like it. <laughs> but if you, it's something but for some of us Ukrainian that you should try, yes. Mm -hmm. I would recommend our desserts mm -hmm. because the, uh, the way they are made is very different. Uh, flour is different, sugar, the whole ingredients are different, so the taste would be very unusual. No, pancakes, it's like, you know... It turns out by itself, right? Yeah. Oh, I hate it. While I'm trying to make a pile of pancakes, my relatives are eating all of it. No, it's not about... I have never made a pile of pancakes. So, guys, what do you think about this video? Would you like to try this food? Uh, please text me in uh, the comment. What do you think? So thank you for watching. Come to visit us in St. Petersburg. Bye. Bye. See you.